Dear Zoe, Movie Review Dear Zoe is an upcoming American drama film directed by Gren Wells and based on the 2005 novel of the same name by Philip Beard. Also starring Sadie Sink, Theo Rossi, Jessica Capshaw, Justin Bartha, and Vivian Lyra Blair. On the day of the September 11th attacks, 15-year-old Tess D'Annunzio is racked with guilt after her half-sister was killed in the crash. The film captures an honest scene of grief as the world around it deals with its own problems. Director Gren Wells creates a smooth yet narratively uneven film that accentuates Sadie Sink's gift of talent. A year after her family suffered an unimaginable loss, Tess D'Annunzio, played by Sadie Zink, struggles to cope with her overwhelming grief. Unable to recover as his family does, she writes a touching letter to his little sister, Zoe, who has died. In it, Tess reflects on what she lost and her resistance to recovery. When nothing seems to work, she turns to her estranged father, Nick D'Annunzio, played by Theo Rossi, and stays with him for several weeks. There, Tess finds love and support in surprising ways, giving her hope on a new journey of emotional restoration. Dear Zoe offers a tender look at the grief and guilt of a 15-year-old girl learning to survive in a busy world. Interestingly, the film takes place a year after the 9-11 attacks, in which various aspects of humanity are on full display. Although the feature took place in the 2001-2002 season, several callback videos for the disaster didn't help define the era. However, that feature gave screenwriters Mark Lormer and Melissa Martin an advantage in focusing on Tess and her emotional journey. Although everything is happening in the world, these events do not mean much to Tess when personal tragedies occur. Although Wells frames Tess's growth as happening in real time, the pace of the story prevents the audience from fully understanding the toll her loss has taken on her. Viewers rarely see Tess before her tragedy, and it's hard to tell who she was as a teenager. As a result, her reactions and responses to events are difficult to rationalize, forcing the audience to disconnect even though the story is reasonably relatable to anyone who has experienced loss. Ultimately, it becomes a wasted opportunity to present a powerful and poignant attempt at how grief and guilt can change a person over time. Within the script, there are also missed opportunities to show how dealing with grief face-to-face -face creates a bond with the person who has passed. In Dear Zoe, the ounce of joy comes from the others when Tess completely avoids her sadness. It's an interesting message to convey, but in these moments, Sadie Zink gives an emotional and nuanced performance, proving that she can hold her own next to veterans. Theo Rossi is also exceptional. Rossi gives a very impressive performance in almost every scene, such a comforting and calming presence. It's incredibly easy for the audience to become invested in everything he does on screen. The strength of director Gren Wells' script is the interactions between its characters. Lormer and Martin's script allows Sink and Rossi to take full emotional control of the project, though it can get lost in revealing the intricate details of grief and guilt. She delivers tender performances that are able to capture the hearts of the audience as they experience loss and find solace in being reunited with their family, which is sustained throughout the film. It's a genuine effort, despite its limitations, and definitely worth a look.